What's up, YouTube? It's Wi-Fi Memory here today, bringing you guys some more VGC 2021 action. Looking on your screen, we got our 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 Archie Ops team back, right? Not exactly. Uh, Harold HD decided to um, take our team and make it his own, and that's exactly what I wanted you guys to do when I started that team build. Take this team and make it your own. Harold did that, and here we are featuring his team, his his uh, version, his vision of this team that he found that he seems to have the most success with. No person can play a team the same. And that's one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to show you guys team building. And then from there, I give you guys the groundwork. And then from that, you take off and you build a team from be being inspired by what I'm doing on the channel, you know. Um, let's say you see this jealousy. And you say, man, Jellison just does not belong here. Jellison, no. I'm going to show Wi-Fi Merriman. I'm going to build the Jellison team. You know, and you build the best Jellison team ever. And then there it is. You know, you um been inspired by me. Even though I was playing Jellison, what you call wrong... Quote unquote, because in my my mind I'm playing him okay, I'm playing him right, but in your mind I'm playing him wrong. You fix that, you make a team around it, you got inspired, and that's all I can ask for. What I want from you guys though is like, give me those rental coats that you guys made a team that got inspired by me. I want to see those rental coats. I want to test those teams out on this channel. We can do a series if we can get enough rental codes where every Wednesday we could be testing out new teams that you may have gotten inspired by or whatever you know but right here Harold HD check him out on YouTube he is a German Pokétuber which hey that's pretty cool cool that he was able to um understand I guess understand how I speak and everything and he just takes it pretty clearly I guess I don't know he's been pretty active in the comments here lately and I just want to say thank you anyway he's got a pretty cool team life orb archie ops we had the white herb on ours he actually is rocking out tailwind and taunt choice scarf urshifu he's got mental herb venusaur with sludge bomb very interesting tech. I can't wait to see what we decide to hit with that today. Torco's got Burning Jealousy and Scorching Sands. We had uh, Heat Wave and Earth Power. So Scorching Sands is actually pretty cool. Um, the Jealousy is holding Focus Sash and, I, and it has Ice Beam. Ice Beam over Protect. Very interesting. And then the Marowak. I see that Brick Break. I do. I see that Brick Break. That That's a pretty cool set too. So, um, let's get some battles in. Yeah, let's get some battles in. I know this intro might have been a little bit longer, but I just kind of had to get in a preachy mode. I was happy to see Harold uh, do this for me. You know, this just kind of made me happy. But anyway, let's see. He actually named a team after me as well. Merriman. Oh, man, dude, I love it. Um, but yeah. Go check them out. Um, but yeah, don't look at that record. I've been uh, battling a little bit today, and today has probably not been the best day for me battling. <laughs> so probably not the best day for me to be recording as well. But we're going to see what we can do. We're going to see what we can do. Hopefully we can uh, find an opponent. And we can get started. Anyway, question of the day is, what Pokemon... I, I misworded it a little bit. What is your favorite Pokemon? 
It doesn't have to be in Pokemon Sword and Shield. You know, my favorite Pokemon happens to be actually Ambipom. I know my uh, channel mascot is Espeon, but Ambipom is actually my favorite Pokemon. Um, and that just goes back from my heart gold soul silver back in the day. I used to play some singles. And Ambipom was basically my answer, my lead every game, practically. And fake out, double hit, do a bunch of damage, and then you switch him out. Or heck, he's fast enough, just let him get another double hit off if he survives an attack. You know what I'm saying? Favorite Pokemon. That's my favorite Pokemon. Let me know what yours is in the comments down below. Hopefully we'll be able to find an opponent soon. Cannot find an opponent. Okay, okay. So, um... We'll do this again. Usually after that, you'll be able to find an opponent kind of quickly. So, we'll see. We'll see. Our rating keeps dropping, though. You know, I mean, we're trying to battle. Come on now. Don't, don't drop me like that. But, yeah, I'm very, very... This was very cool. Right there is a trainer. Very cool that someone made a team based off of a team that I built. I just, that's to me very awesome. But okay, so we're going up against Sunny or Sony. I don't know. Glass Tree Year, Cinderace, Salmons, Confe, Dragapo, and Gudra. Let's see, what do we need to do here? I do not want to lose. I need, I need to pick up a win, right? Um. Does he have Tailwind? Technically, with the Salamence, in a way, he could. Uh, Trick Room, possibility, but Tafei's not the best setter for that either. Okay. Uh, we don't want to set Trick Room up for him, though. That's the biggest thing. So, let's go Archeops. And I'm going to attempt the Archeops Urshifu lead. Hopefully, we'll be able to get that off. And then in the back, I think Torco Venusaur is just kind of like a nice little back mon team, you know. Um, biggest concerns is Dragapult and Salamence. You know, um, just kind of get, just have to get into a good matchup against them, really. But I think we, I think we can. If anything, we can give a good battle. So let's see. Gudra and Dragapult. Okay. Archeops and Urshifu. Okay. So from what uh, Harold has told me, this Urshifu is supposed to outspeed this Dragapult here. We can go for a Wicked Blow right into him and just get pick up a KO. Which is exactly what we need. I think I'm going to set up a Tailwind. And Wicked Blow. Dragapult can't go for Protect or anything. So this is kind of just like a little... Really, really just nice. Uh, who are you Dynamaxing? I wonder if Wicked Blow will KO a Dynamax Dragapult. Okay. Gudra though. That's fine. I'm not... I wasn't... I'm not the biggest worry against this Gudra. Gudra tends to not hit that hard. He'll probably still one-shot our Archie Ops, though. But, hey, look at that. We outspeed Dragapult. And we KO him. Fantastic. Getting everything started off right. Alright, so let's get this Tailwind off. Look at that. Archie Ops putting in some work. Giving us that Tailwind. There's the Max Lightning. That's fine. Take out Archie Ops. Archeops did its job. It gives us speed control. Our opponent doesn't have the best speed control options, so Archeops setting up the tailwind there. That's fantastic. Uh, we could go into Venusaur. Which I, I kind of like. Let's do that. I don't know what we can gain with going into Torco, so I like Venusaur. Confei. Confei is the trick room setter on this team. Ooh, that's why you got the Sludge Bomb. I like it. 
90 base power. If we Dynamax, that will probably be a 90 base power attack as well. I'm tempted to Dynamax. That way we get a special attack boost. We're stuck into Wicked Blow, so the question is, do we want to switch? And I don't think we want to, because we want to double into this Confe. The reason being is he could be, um... He could be Focus Sash. Now he's probably more than likely Focus Sash. So if we're able to double into it, we can deny that Trick Room. I don't see Gudra picking up a KO here. I just don't see it. He mm, very well probably could on that Urshifu. Draining Kiss. That's fine though. That means you're not going for... um. That means you weren't going for Trick Room, which gives... We're still in Speed Control that way, right? Do we get the KO on this Confe? Not quite. But... We're putting pressure. We got a lot of pressure on our opponent. Max Hellstorm. Venusaur takes it like a champion. Um, I wonder if Confe will faint due to the Max Hell... Due to this Hell be pretty close not quite all right that's fine we're going to Torco get the sun up for us that that's what we want uh, draining kiss will not be doing that much damage to either mine so if he wants to set it up let him set it up you know what I'm saying I see us going for a max ooze into the Gudra. Let me double check. Yeah, he's just pure dragon. For some reason, I was thinking he might have been a uh, poison type as well. And we gotta get the cafe off the board. Might as well go for a burning jealousy play. I don't see the eruption giving us much value against this Gudra. He actually goes for Giga Drain, which I don't see much value in that either. But Max Ooze gives us a nice little special attack boost. What's this Gudra want to do? If he's going for like a Max Ooze of his own, we're able to burn him. So that's that would be big. He he just wants to go for that Max Hellstorm. That's also fine. We should take it not nicely, but we do take it. Um, I believe that was Gugujo's last turn of Dynamax. So we should be able to hit him really hard this turn. Even Torco's Eruption should do a lot of damage, against, especially against that Glass Tree here. Alright. That's definitely the play. We get one more turn of our Venusaur. I have no problem going for Vine Lash right into that Gudra. Um, let's go for that big Eruption play. How many more turns of Tailwind do we have? We got one more turn. That's... Fantastic. If he goes for protect, he burns his protect. Which he doesn't. Get nice little vine lash off. That's gonna be big. I can already tell you that. Ice beam into Venusaur. That's fine. Now let's go for that big eruption play. We should KO the glass tree here. The Gudra should be very, very weakened. Let's see though. Ooh. Come on, Torco. You gotta live this. Torco act activates his weakness policy now. Uh, Vines honestly should KO both mods. We do have Protect on this Torco, I believe. So if it don't KO the Gudra, which it does. Hey, look at that. Getting game one win. That's how you play this team. That's how I play this team. I think Harold plays it 
probably a little bit more aggressive definitely than I do, but that's fine. You know, everyone plays Pokemon a little differently. I could definitely see that he's more of an aggressive player just by how he team built this team. That just showed me that he was a little bit more aggressive, but that's fine. Everyone plays a little differently. Me, personally, I'm more of a let's take our time and let's figure a good strategy out to win. You know, I'm not always going full-on power. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do, but I'm not f always the bat, the power guy, you know? Which is fine. Everyone plays a little differently. We won the first game, though. So, yes. <laughs> Alright, second game. Motrix, Nidoqueen, Grimmsnarl, Tapu Fini, Metagross, and Zapdos. Now, when I was building this team, you know, we were looking at Archeops and some of his weaknesses. One of his biggest weaknesses is the Metagross. So we definitely have to be careful of that. But that's why Urshifu's here. That's why Torkoal's here, you know? Marowak's here. <laughs> I mean, we got Metagross covered. Um, Zapdos, we need the Marowak for that, for sure. So, how do we want to lead? More than likely, he's going to be leading that Moltres. So we're going to have to have Archeops. Moltres and Metagross? But if he doesn't lead Metagross, we need to switch out right away. Because Urshifu is our Metagross counter. Marowak needs to come. We are super weak to Zapdos. Like, Archeops hits Zapdos hard, but Zapdos hits us really hard as well. So we got to have Marowak for sure. And then... Hmm. Let's go Venusaur. Venusaur looks good, even though we don't have the sun. Venusaur still looks fantastic here. So let's do this. Let's get this game. Let's get this win. All right. I know we can get this win. This this is definitely something that when I was building this team, this the type of team that I wanted to beat. You know, this is. Perfect for our showcase battle. Let's see if we can get this win. Alright. Archeops. And Zapdos. And yeah, Zapdos need a queen. Alright, so Max Rockfall right into that Zapdos. We should outspeed, tell you the honest truth. Because uh, this Archeops is actually max speed. I was looking at it. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty fast. Uh, let's go right into, yeah, I'm okay going right into Marowak. If he predicts Marowak, you predict Marowak. That's fine. Yeah, you can predict Marowak all day. That's fine. We, as long as we get the KO onto your Zapdos, that was honestly one of the biggest problems is the Zapdos. So we should be fine if we get the KO here on Zapdos. Yeah, we're gonna try and play a little bit aggressive too. Um, Dynamaxing, uh, more than likely a Zapdos. It would be very interesting to see Nidoqueen. But yeah, there's the Zapdos. We did outspeed Dynamax so um I do have a feeling we should we should get the KO here if not he might be going for max lightning there's the ice beam don't do that to me thank you whoo almost got us in defeat us but he didn't get us there that's a choice scarf needle queen by the way and we get the one hit KO into the Zapdos Dynamax busted his Dynamax is wasted on Route 1. <laughs> Didn't get a chance to do anything. Archeops is a beast. We are now into Vetus mode, but hey, Archeops done its job. Archeops is not useless in this Vetus mode, though. Because we got free max airstreams, you know. We could probably... Honestly, we could take probably one more Ice Beam from that Nidoqueen, right? We know it's Choice Scarf. There's no way that Neoqueen's going to outspeed Archeops. Um, we do not need to let Tafufini get a Calm Mind off. 
that would be pretty bad. Hmm. Yeah, like I said, no max airstream. Ah, is it the end of the world? Actually, I don't mind this. Let's go into Venusaur. Yeah, I don't mind it because there's no way this Neo Queen is going to be predicting. Yeah, Neo Queen's actually switching out into Motrace. Okay, I'm fine with that. We go into our Venusaur. We're going to give Venusaur a plus one in speed. We should get, be able to give him a plus two by the end of it. That does decent chip damage to Tapu Fini. What's Tapu Fini wanting to do? Maybe go for like a Muddy Water. He go for Calm Mind. Um, we got several options. Ice Beam even. But Muddy Water, we actually take that. You know, I mean, that's pretty good for us. Uh, Venusaur gets a uh, accuracy drop, though. That kind of sucks. Alright, so the name of this game is do not hit that mode trace until we just know we can one shot it though, right? Right now. Yeah, let's go for another max airstream. And let's go for that sludge bomb. Right into that Feeny. We'll double into it. I'm fine with that. If he goes for protect, he goes for protect, right? Mode trace goes for protect. Let's see what Feeny does. Feeny does not protect. So yes, we're just going to get a nice little KO on a Tapu Fini. Who said Archeops is useless when it has the fetus? Archeops is not useless, my man. Archeops is super busted right now. You know, putting in a lot of value. Let's see. Bingo was his name Oh, We get the KO right on that Tapu Fini. Sludge Bomb actually was a move I took off of my Venusaur just because I didn't see a value for it. But right here, I seen the big value for it, you know? I mean, this is a really interesting, uh, interesting because, you know, I mean, I didn't think Confei would have been such a big issue for us, you know, in the first game, you know? Same with the, um, Tapu Fini, but it's kind of nice just a quick Sludge Bomb, you know? Now let's let's see. We can double into that mo trace because we know it just went for protect. Um, I'm expecting Ice Beam into one of our Pokemon. If Needle Queen should be able to outspeed us now though, because we are plus two in speed. So yeah, we might be all right. We might just be all right. We'll find out. But if anything, we double into this mo trace. Look at that head smash what the fetus and we get the one hit KO onto one of the bulkiest Pokemon in the game I was not expecting that Archeops Archeops you're probably the best Pokemon in this game now <laughs> oh my goodness that's crazy that's crazy was not expecting that guys that's awesome. I'm sure our opponent wasn't either. Um, let's just go into Urshifu. We'll just show him. Hey, yeah, by the way, here's Urshifu. Let's go for that nice little lit wicked blow. Um, I mean, Frenzy Plant's actually not resisted. Oh, because he's ground type. Duh. That's alright. We'll just Earth Power. I'm fine with that. Oh, he avoids it because that accuracy drop. Uh-oh. Can Nido Queen get a comeback? Nah. Urshifu says, nope. It's all right, Venusaur. I'll pick you up. Guys, this team is pretty cool. Uh, the rental code was in the beginning of the video. Go check that out if you guys are interested. Um, I had a lot of fun actually playing with this team. Um... I'm actually really happy for you, Harold, for making this team. This team looks really awesome. This team was really fun playing with, too. Check out his channel, guys. Harold put this together by... He just watched 
um, some of my videos with me using some ArchieOps team got inspired and he built his own version. And that's what I want to do. For, I want to inspire you guys. This is an awesome example of that though. Harold, great team building. I enjoyed using it. Um, anyway guys, if you guys did enjoy, um, like, comment, and subscribe if you guys are new. Um, this is a Wi-Fi Merman signing out. Peace.